1 Chronicles 12. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Shaul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Shaul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiezer, then Yoash, the sons of Shema'ah, the Gibeathite, and Yeziel, and Pelet, the sons of Azmaveth, and Berachah, and Yehu, the Antothite, and Ismayahu, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Yermiyahu, and Yahaziel, and Yohanan, and Yosabad, the Gederethite, Eluzai, Yeramoth, and Bialyahu, and Shamariyahu, and Shaphatiyahu, the Harufite, Elkanah, and Yeshiyahu, and Azareel, and Yoezer, and Yashobaam, the Korhites, and Yoelah, and Zebediyahu, the sons of Yeroham, of Gedor, and of the Gadites, there separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness, men of might and men of war, fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Ovedyahu the second, Eliav the third, Mishmana the fourth, Yarmiyahu the fifth, Ataib the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Yohanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Yarmiyahu the tenth, Makmanai the eleventh. These were the sons of God, captains of the host, one of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Yardan in the first month, when they had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all of them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Yehuda to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye become peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye become to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the Elohim of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Ruach came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Yishai, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy Elohim helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Shaul to battle. But they helped them not, for the Lord to the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Shaul to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Yozabad, and Yadiel, and Mikael, and Yozabad, and Elihu, and Zithai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of Elohim. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Shaul to him, according to the word of Yahuwah. The children of Yehuda that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house, twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Shaul, three thousand. For hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Shaul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name, to come and make David king. And of the children of Yishikar, which were men that had understanding of the times, 
to know what Yasharel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart. And of Naphtali, a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear, thirty and seven thousand. And of the Danites, expert in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. And on the other side of Yardan, of the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Yasharel, and all the rest also of Yasharel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Yishikar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on donkeys, and on camels, and on mules, and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs, and bunches of raisins, and wine, and oil, and oxen, and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Yasharel.